This is September. Hamster Bomb updates for September. And it's not just me this time in the video. We're at Kim's place. Kim, remember? Uh, from it's not my bar. place, but Kim's place. This is not Kim. I waved. I'm waving, so I'm saying hello, but. <laughs> this is. John, John Illustrator from Dawn. If you yeah, haven't already picked up Dawn. a copy of that comic, right you there. should definitely do that. Yep. Got them on the website. We're still trying to get the comic ready on Comixology. Um, if you're just buying digital comics, which just by looking at the Excel doc that I've got up right now, a whole lot of people do that compared to buying physically because it costs a whole lot to um, ship comics, which really stinks. I was actually going to make a video to put on the shop page recently, or at one point while I'm in school and I could actually make a video by myself <laughs> explaining how the shop works because there's a lot of weird stuff on the shop um, that uh, people had issues with, like um, selecting exactly which comic they wanted and then trying to combine shipping correctly with things. And um, it, even though I wrote everything out, people like videos and I should make it into video format. So, so here we are. Yes. Hello. Well, <laughs> Oh, so the updates, the updates video for yes. uh, September. Um, big thing that happened in September is we went to Cincy Comic Con. If you haven't been paying attention at all on the website, John here made an awesome post about it. It wouldn't be that hard to see either because it's at the top of the page. Yeah, it's and it's Cincy Comic Con. Well, it is or right now. As well, soon as we post out. this video, it'll be under the video. Correct. So it will no longer be at the top of the page, but it is right now. If you're doing it as we're recording this video. <laughs> <laughs> you would never know. You'll never really know. Um, anyway, scroll down a bit and you'll see it. Unless you're on YouTube, which never mind, you have no idea what we're talking about. Also, we have a nifty little icon on there that says comment on Dawn, Infram, and R, which are not existent here, but if you go to the website, you'll see them on there and you can go down to the bottom and make comments on that. Yes. That helps us out a lot. Yeah, we'd really like to know um, what some people, because everybody we talk to at conventions, you know, talking about the book, they, they're real excited, we give them a business card, they're like, oh, great, cool, yeah, we'll let you, I'll definitely let you know on the website. Where are you people? <laughs> they all just disappear. Yeah, you can actually show them if you want. I was pulling it up for that. Yes, this is the picture of the website. Da, 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 da. I don't know if it's actually going to show up. I don't think it's it. Correctly, but, but you can see... That was the posts right here, and um, really the just thingamabob. If you scroll up a bit, yes, the thingamabob that John was just talking about. Yes, um, <laughs> you really can just click on any of the posts and comment. We really don't care, except I think recently we had somebody trying to post some weird. It was on Facebook. Okay, that was Facebook. Somebody tried to put some hot dog eating contest or something on our website, and yeah this i did not know it, it was it was versus a hand kim killed it mm. quickly um we don't know what it was but anyway really getting off topic um so big things we had uh Cincy comic con mm -hmm. which compared to last year it was significantly smaller i think than last year uh kim was there last year john was not because yeah. dawn wasn't um finished then um, which, fun fact, if you have a copy of R issue 1, the date is actually incorrect for the printing and dawn, but whatever. So, the I think what happened this year for the convention, um, a whole lot more Artist Alley booths were sold as opposed to retailers, and the Artist Alley booths, only like 80% of the people even showed up. So there were a lot of blank tables, not very many people showed up, I think. Uh, I heard the end number of everybody who actually showed up was about um, 3,000, yeah, it was really low. And um, I was just at Cincy Comic Expo yesterday, it's actually just finished tonight, um, dates when we're doing this really late. But um, that con is typically for like media and popular culture, TV stars and things like that, but it also has, you know, comic books in it if that's what you're going for, and it costs more to get in. So, the Comic Con here is mainly about comic creators and stuff like that, and it's new. So, we went and we had another booth there, and it, for some reason this year, was just really slow. So, can we so. officially say where we're going next? Um, or is that still under? I think so. We're going to say where we're trying to go. Yeah. But, um, anyway, if way. we're anywhere in Cincinnati, <laughs> though, I don't think we're going to go for Comic Con again. We're going to go next year as fans, just to make just to see if it's picking up a bit, because um, it's still fun there, but we didn't do so well there. I mean, our first year, 
its first year, which was last year, um, we did great. We made our table back, which is, from what I hear now, it's actually really good if you can do that at... Um, and believe it or not, they had two less books. Yeah, we... This is a new book. We only <laughs> had our issue one, and we still yeah. made our table. Yeah. Um, we had like a raffle thing going. We had posters. We did like try to do like combo deals and things like that, and a raffle thing going on. And um, through all that, we actually made um, I think like yeah, it was significantly more than the table. It was it was pretty cool. And then this year, the tables cost a little bit more just because um, it's the second year, and I'm assuming the first one they were just trying to get a lot of people in, which they did, and it did great. Um, but this time, the table cost a little bit more. Um, if we were going by last year's prices, we we bear no. I don't think we would have made it anyway. It, we we would have made it anyway. So anyway, the um, I think everyone else was kind of hurting. We were talking to a lot of other creators, and nobody was really doing that great. Um, I think uh, Matt Fraction and uh, Chip Zdarsky were kind of <coughs> hogging the whole convention. That was abundantly clear. Yeah, and we were right next to them too. <laughs> we were right so next our them. line was our, we had a nice their view. line. We don't have a line. <laughs> Yeah, we had a nice view of all the people being <laughs> successful. No. Right. Well. Anyway, so as you're trying to get to, um, we're gonna go to the con next year, just as fans, not with a table. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking about going to the expo with a table because when I was just there, it was. I think they're trying to change how the expo works so they can steal some of the Comic Con's audience back to them because that was basically the con showing up new, taking their audience away. So they're probably, you know, going in the opposite direction trying to take those audience back. So. We should we should clarify the locations of those places. All right. Um, Cincy Comic Expo is at the Duke Energy Center. You can look it up online. They'll tell you when the next one is. I'm not sure when it is off the top of my head. And um, Cincy, Cincy Comic, Comic Con, Con is, is the Covington Convention Center. So it's, it's actually not in Cincinnati. Yeah, technically. In, but you can see Cincinnati from yeah. the. I think it's technically Newport. Is it? Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's actually no, right next door to Newport. Newport yeah. Okay, it's right by the bridge to Newport. Right. But, but anyway, other conventions, what we're more <laughs> seriously looking into, are um, not so Space close. There's SpaceCon, which no, Columbus. is Columbus. Columbus. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually for Small Press and Alternative Comics Expo. So it's actually for stuff like this. So I think we'll fit in just great, uh, especially because I don't think when people are walking around comic conventions where we're going, they don't realize that we're selling full color comics that have so much effort put into them for three dollars <laughs> and just because there's not a comic another independent common independent book sitting next to us that's like you know less page count sorry guys but they've spent so much less time on their books this is like all digitally painted I took forever hand lettering the thing so it looked really nice uh, it took years writing the script so yeah. I don't want to put anybody down, but there's so much effort put in this, and it's three dollars, which is basically the printing price to get it done, and that's a really good printing price too. There's something else I think we realize is people don't realize you make the comic, and that you're sitting there. Oh yeah, that you yeah. Have made that was something that I comic. found out over the course of the weekend. That, that comes up. People are like, "Oh, you made this?" It was something that I sort of we assumed <laughs> when we first got there. I sort of assumed that people, that people knew that. But the, it, I found out over the course of the weekend that people actually didn't know that. Because when I told people, they'd be like, oh my gosh, you actually make these? Like, do you walk up to Matt Fraction and do... You wrote Hawkeye? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I read that! <clears throat> That's it. I don't... whatever. But, um... SpaceCon, we're gonna try and go to, which, like we said, is Columbus. Um, there was a Chicago convention that we were thinking about just because we... Uh, know somebody up there and we'd be able to stay with them. Um, so far that's where we're thinking about actually having booths, but in terms of where we're gonna go, um, we're thinking about going to Heroes Con, which is the huge one in I believe it's North Carolina. You sure? Yes, and we we're just kind of scoping that out to see if maybe we could possibly get a table there later on. I guess yeah. we should say dates too. Um, is it July? HeroCon? HeroCon is in July and <laughs> you know SpaceCon space is, that's is, right. Con, yeah. space Con is in, in April. April. See, I need Kim to be my secretary now because I'm in school and I have no time for this stuff. I barely have enough time now to go back into the comic work. John is actually waiting on me to approve his own work of taking my Dawn script, which stupid me at the time I wrote it, kind of like a movie script so it wasn't per panel. 
Um, now, I don't do that anymore, but the thing is, that's just how it was written back then. So John spent a ton of time organizing everything I said by the panel and then trying to organize it so, you know, when you turn the page, you get the cool event here and everything still fits in the 24 page format, which, by the way, was it 24 pages or did you have to go over? No, it's 28 pages. 28 again? Yep. That'll work. That's fine. 28 is what Don 1 was, and um, the issue twos for both comics, since I mean, since they're full color and most people charging like $5 a comic anyway, um, we're going to move those to $4, and it's probably going to stick at 4 until we can make a trade. So, um, that's basically the really quick synopsis on printing. But basically, um, John's waiting on me to look through that script, just read through it and approve it, just so we can start working, and I'm so busy yeah. we can't even do that. So, if we have time to make this video, though. But, um, space, I'm not really sure when it is, but, um, anyway, we're going to HeroCon as fans first because it is really cheap to get in there. I think it's like 45 a weekend for a weekend pass, but if you want to have a table there, it's like 300 something. So we really want to make sure, go there first, talk to the creators, make sure that they're all doing well enough to get their booth back because that's like, that is almost three times the booths that we were dealing with here. And if we're not making that booth already here, then it's a problem. For yeah, us, we're not going to a three hundred booth. For us to physically go to HeroCon as a booth, it's going to cost us over six hundred dollars. Yeah. Calculating in hotel expenses, gas expenses, kind of food, the just food expenses, a big thing. parking. Food expenses, I don't even know what parking would be too, and then parking, and yeah. then we have to pay for an extra chair as well at the booth. That's another fifty. Yeah, you have to pay for another fifty dollars just for John to sit here. Unless we make you stand. Yeah. I, I know, I don't even you think can you just can work there. Yeah, I don't even think they let you do that. You just make a cardboard cutout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't sign comics, but <laughs> yeah. I'm there. <laughs> we, we actually did that um, at CincyCon the first year. Oh, not a, not a cardboard cutout, but we were there. Oh, you did? I didn't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but um, we were like, oh, so this poster that you're buying here, it's got, you know, we did this right half of it. And then that other guy who didn't show up, he did the other side of it, so I'm sorry, you can't get the whole poster signed. Yeah. I, I think you were thinking at one point drawing you in a sketchbook and setting you next to us, but... I think partially <laughs> what the problem was for CincyCon this year is that the advertising was way down. Um, since last year was its first year, it was uh, like everybody knew about it, so a lot of people showed up. And this year, I think since not a lot of advertising went out, nobody really knew what it was. And um, I think that's... Uh, I, I'm thinking that because we really didn't get people coming back to our booth going, Oh, yeah, I remember this. I, I read this. Yeah. I, I did this. And one person. One person. One person. And um, it, cool, though, that person came back and actually bought a t-shirt from us, which was awesome. But they, I mean, think about how many comics went out last year when we only had one comic to sell and we made our table and we were selling stuff even cheaper than the $3 price with the uh, the raffle thing going on. We were basically handing copies out at one point. So um, for none of those people to come back to the convention next year, it's not because of us, I'm thinking, <laughs> because for that many people, that's something the convention was well, doing. Because you could visually had, see there was so few people. I even had time. to remind my friends when it was, or like when I had friends who said they were going to come, yeah. and I texted them, and they were like, oh, I didn't even know that was coming up, or I didn't know that was this weekend, and there, I just don't remember seeing any advertisements on TV at all like they had the year before for it, so. Yeah, well, anyway, um, next coming month, what are we planning on having? Well, well, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have that Dawn paper. We'll learn more so about Dawn something. issue two. Yeah, I'm gonna we'll have that, that paper that I said I'm. I should probably just bust it out tonight so I can give it back to John. And say, all right, cool, looks great. Or just read it yeah. over while you're here. Yeah. Um, this is rare. <laughs> For us all to be here. Yeah, I'm not supposed to tell that. <laughs> In the same room. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay. Well, um, so expect some updates on John Dawn issue two. And hopefully something back from Comixology, so you guys who are like uh, not into that paying twelve dollars to have that one comic come to your door, because that really stinks in physical format. Um, you want it on Comixology? I'm gonna let you know as soon as I know, and am able to make video. <laughs> I should clarify. Did you tell them that R is on there? R is on R is Comixology. Yeah, I mean, I know we've said it before. Yeah, we but, have. Yeah. R issue one is already on Comixology, and it is one dollar. Which is great. You can go on to the Comixology website, which I don't really have any links that I can hold right now, but 
you, know, you get the idea. I think, that's, I think that's actually also tablet friendly too. I think so too. I saw at the bottom there's a download you can do. It's a free download for Kindle or whatever tablet you use and you can view comics on your tablets. But I, um, from what I hear, you cannot use um, Windows, no, not Windows, um, Macintosh, Apple stuff anymore because of something weird that um, Amazon did. Amazon just recently bought out Comixology and they're making a lot of weird changes. And one of them, maybe they weren't making enough money from Apple selling stuff. I hear some people, some companies were complaining about that, but they have uh, stopped you from purchasing things on an Apple product, but you can still read on there. So if you have a way to like buy on another, you know, like your home computer or your phone or something, and then read on your iPad or whatever, you can do it. But weird glitch I've come across. But anyway, um, R, how are you doing on R? I'm doing pretty well. Still got about 10 pages left, unfortunately, but now that I'll be having more of a stable lifestyle, I should be cranking those out a lot quicker. Um, yeah, this is Kim's apartment. Case. She just recently had to move out, and that was a lot of the um, problem with why R2 was not out by this convention date. So if you guys went to the convention, you were hoping for R2, which, first of all, where were you? Secondly, that's why. So, so hopefully that should be done. I definitely... <laughs> Definitely, I pray it will be printed before July. Because we're going to SpaceCon. Well, sp before April then. Oh, that's April. Yep. SpaceCon is in April. HeroCon yes. is in July. You know, showing off our books to Ryan Otley. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't even, I don't even know yet if he's actually going to be there. Well, too bad. We're Whatever. We're going to give him comic books anyway. So. Um, Pop! We ran out of video space. Actually, the uh, battery died on the camera, so we had to make another part two. But uh, we were pretty much done anyway, so we're just make a really quick summarization of everything. So um, I can't quite confirm what convention Cincinnati-wise we're going to be at next year, but we're going to try to go to SpaceCon this year. Um, next year. Ne yeah, next year, because it's yeah. Thank you, thanks, Secretary. <laughs> um, <laughs> R2 is coming along now, now that Kim is out, so we can give you more updates on that. We'll give you updates when Dawn is up on Comixology. And during this break, while we were charging the battery, I actually just confirmed um, the script with John for Dawn 2. So we're ready to go on that. We're ready to go, so a lot of stuff's are about to start starting. Beginning. So, um, that's pretty much it, unless you guys can think of something else. No, it's really late. We're tired. So, bye. We'll see you next month. Have a good day. Or night. <laughs>